Hey, let's try enthusiasts. My name is James and welcome back to the Tremor mod. Today we're going to do a little bit of maintenance on the world. We're going to be chopping down some trees, building some new houses to some NPCs. We're going to try and find a living loom on a second world and then hopefully we'll get prepared for a wall of flesh fight. All of that is coming up today and more so we'll see what Tremor mod brings for us today. So let's begin. So, you know in the intro where I said hopefully I'll find a living loom in another world? Well, I've been checking out other worlds and I've, so far I've gone through four of them and still not found a treehouse. But I found this very, very cool um, desert surface house. I've never found one of these. Have you guys found one? I know that's not part of the mod, but I was just really interested in that. It looks very unique. This world is actually shaping up to be very nice. Oh my god, I found one! I swear to god I didn't know that was there. That was not planned. Thank god. Right, okay. Let's get in here and see what it's got in here. Has it got a living loom? It doesn't have a living loom. And I do believe you need the living loom. I do believe like a living loom is a thing. I'm pretty sure like there's alternates where you get one has the wand, one has the loom. Ah, well. <laughs> I thought we'd open this one together. This is actually my 15th world today trying to find a loom. Uh, so I'm going to give up after this one. So I thought I'd do it with us together. So far I've actually found out of 15 worlds, two that actually have one of these. Which I got the same items, so come on. Yes! Woo! Ha! Yes, we can start the episode properly now. Let's get back into our own world. So let's leave this one. Right, finally delete that. Yes, let's get back onto Fox River and let's begin. So, the reason why we got a living loom is because there is a special crafting recipe that can be found with it. Which is Summoner's Armor and it's called Living Wood Armor. So... I wanted to craft a full set of it before we continue and then there is something else I believe you can craft with this mod which I really want to do so one sec let's just put our stuff in spelunking real quick um, all the stuff that I'm not going to use I should do right so let's talk to the guide real quick now there is a little summoning trick that you can actually do in this mod uh, which I'll show you in a second here I believe Judging from the comments, that you can actually make a slime staff. That's what I've been told. Yeah. A living loom, 25 gel, and some wood. So let me check my inventory real quick if I've actually got some gel. I don't believe I... Oh, no. There we go. I was going to say, I don't believe I have got any. Right. So we can come over here. We can craft our very own slime staff. And then we can equip all of this. Obviously, we've got low defense. But two slimes. If you're a summoner, that's a great little startup, isn't it? Very, very cool indeed. Let's take off the chef's hat and see how that looks. Wow, that looks pretty weird. Um, <laughs> that looks really cool though, actually. It looks weird. It looked weird then, but it looks cool now. Very cool little uh, little trickery there with uh, making a living loom, living loom armor. I like it. I like it. Let me quickly check if there's anything else that we crafted for summoners. Um, it seems to love living stuff. And I like it. It, it fits in with the whole jungle theme, you know. Witch Doctor and all that. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Some of these stuff are obviously for later. Like, you got scythes and stuff like that. Christmas fireplace looks pretty awesome with some red brick. These all look like really cool items, man. You really can't complain about the selection of items that are available in this mod. Very, very awesome indeed. So, we're not obviously going to be using some of this, but it does remind me of my Geldar Expert 1.3 playthrough. Which, uh, not expert, my Geldar RPG playthrough, because in that I am a summoner with two slimes for like half of it, so kind of awesome. Right, well, we're not going to be using this one like I said, because it's a little bit late game now. I just wanted to show you guys it, because I kind of want to show everything that I think is cool in this mod, and I definitely believe that that is a cool feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the Rack of Cool Armors, which I'm officially calling the Rack of Cool Armors, of course. And yeah, it looks awesome. If not, it just makes a great mannequin. So let me put back on my armor. Let's put on my uh, gold die. Should we go with the Dodge Mask today? Or Doge? <laughs> Dog? Whatever. Right, so now it's night time. I'm going to do some mining. I'm going to go mining to hell because in hell, we can obviously fight the Wall of Flesh. Can I actually buy one of these yet? No. Apparently, though, this chef will sell every now and again a summoning item for a boss. A chef themed boss or something along them lines so we've got to keep a nice little eye on that guy just to see if he sells anything cool I need to put this in here so I'm gonna start digging actually no before I start digging I'm gonna build a quick house and then I'm gonna start digging 
Right, so where is my wood? Where did I place it? Oh, it's down here. Alright, so let's start building a quick little house. I said I was going to build some over here just because we're getting a little bit cramped. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll take this level out here. I'm going to bring you guys along for some night building just because I want to show you the building process because obviously we're going to be finding NPCs and stuff so I want you to know where they're going to be situated in these little houses. I've done a lot of building off camera in this series so I got a request to actually add some more in just to make it seem like more of a series and less of a mod showcase and I completely agree. Right, okay, so let's place down some wood. Let's build a nice little hook. Whoa. Gotta get used to that featherfall. I don't really like it as much now. It's kind of like dampened on me. Ah, oh, I've got blueberries. Do you remember that? Does anybody remember that viral video when a few years ago where it's like blueberries, blueberries, and then the girl like falls over? Yeah. If you don't know what I'm on about, it's a little video of a girl uh, like getting really excited about cooking with blueberries and uh, she like completely like face plants the bowl she's cooking with. Just a little throwback reference there to people that have been on the internet a while <laughs> and know their viral videos. Okay, let's kick through the doors here. Now I don't know how many sh uh, how many floors I'm going to build. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build one for now, and then if an NPC comes that we already have or in the, like have in the sense of like in the base game, I'm going to get rid of it. Well, not rid of it. I'm going to build onto it so that we can keep getting new ones. But for now, I'm just going to build the one. Right, okay, that should be an upward wall, for sure. Right, okay, a little, nice little shack over here. Cool, we can pass through this. Like I say, we should get a new NPC soon from the actual mod pack, so if that works out well, it works out well. So let's take a little bit of a look at the world. I think if we're going to dive down to hell, I would say the probably best place to go is this area here near the spider biome. Because that doesn't seem like too much of a track down. It's like one path, obviously. Oh, I tell you what, who's going to live there? The engineer's going to live there. Or does she live in one of these ones? Right, okay, she's going to live there. So I'm going to build another house, and I'm going to start working on getting to hell. Okay, so I ended up building two extra houses. I'll just show you a quick little outline of them, because they're not very good. So I got one here and one there. And I said I wanted to work on my way to hell, but I remembered that when I saw the forum post for this, there were actually quite a few newer items that are like part of the mod in hell like there are some like certain armors and enemies and such so i thought rather than just be selfish and go on my own i thought i'd bring you guys along for the adventure and my god i was so impressed when we got this uh when we got this little spider biome because of all the cobwebs and i still am right okay i believe i actually have a mining potion with me yep okay so on we go Right, I don't think we're actually too much above hell. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, we're actually getting into the background now, as you can see. So we'll be there in a second. I don't have any obsidian skin potions on me, sadly, and that would have been really good. We could have done some hell diving. Well, to be fair, anyway, I don't really have a Reva shark anyway, so... <laughs> That's not going to be happening anytime soon. Right, okay. Let's go this way. Let's dig down that up. Okay. Right, what's going to be down here? I'm excited, because I want to see some new enemies. Alright, got the casual demons. Shout out to the people outside, the ambulance people. Alright, got the demons out there. We've got the hellbats. Ooh, nice little frame drop there. Wow, I never get a frame drop in hell. What's going on with that? <laughs> hey, new PC soon. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Jesus, man. Fire imp, be gone! Okay, so it looks like nothing new so far. But we may as well just keep checking it out to see what we find. I do actually need some blocks because I do want to build the um, the stadium for the Wall of Flash. Because we will be going there soon. We've done a few little... Uh... Oh, obsidian skin, nice. We can use that in the future. We've done a few little like uh, advances on our own in the sense of like we have progressed pretty far and stuff. And we haven't got all the accessories that we probably should get to go into hard mode. But... I argue that this mod is like kind of imbalanced in the sense of we could probably do it. But I don't know how it we uh, how it go down in hard mode. <laughs> I'm I'm interested. I'm interested to see. Because what we could do is we could kill the wall of flesh and then go bam straight for the flesh armor. I believe is one. Flesh armor is like demon blood. That's cool. That's new. Flesh armor is something that's uh, new to the mod. So we could farm the wall of flesh for it. And we could, uh, we could start mining the hellstone then, because we obviously... I don't know, would we have a pickaxe? No, we'd, we'd have to get health. Hellstone. 
Man, I'm getting so confused with the way pickaxes work. It's because I've, I've been skipping. Ah, there we go. We've got a new NPC. Cox, Crocs the Knight. So we've got lots of new stuff. Yeah, so we could do some little mining and stuff. Why can't I remember what it is to mine Hellstone? Is it sh it's gotta be Shadow? Ah, I don't know. Night nightmare pickaxe? Nightmare pickaxe. Yes, no. Hmm. So confused. Ah oh, well. <laughs> okay, should we? Let's have a look at which we we'll definitely we should have a look at this demon blood. Alright, it's a material. We can use it to craft, so that probably means we need a, a little bit more of it. So I say we do another little minute in here. Like uh, perusing this little uh, hellscape, and then I say we go back check out the night. Hopefully we've got a little bit of money. We've got ten gold on us, so we've probably got a little bit of money to buy something off him. So then we can go check out the night, and then we will check out what this demon blood does. I think that'd be good. But yeah, so I don't know whether I'm going to wait for accessories and such, or just use what the mod has offered us to uh, do all this. Ah, shame I didn't get a demon key when I was in the, the dungeon. Shame. Still need to go back to the dungeon. Go get some stuff like an obsidian shield. Because look, all these accessories I'm pretty sure I got in the first episode. <laughs> ah man, that's mod sphere. It's mod sphere. You're so busy thinking about all the other stuff. You uh you don't go for the normal stuff. I love it. <laughs> when you're a YouTuber and you play a mod, it's never to play the extension of the game. Like it's never just like a like a DLC pack and you just kinda add on to your own gameplay experience. It's more like you just solely look for the new items, and I love that. It's the same with an update, like, we, we stopped playing the way we played in 1.2 to play by 1.3 rules and stuff like that. Alright, okay, I'm gonna spend another minute here, like I said. Not getting many demons, so... This could get a little bit tedious. Get some nice potions, though, these are obviously gonna help out in the future. Hellfire arrows are gonna be nice when we, um... When we go for another set of rangers armor, because I'm pretty sure there is a set of, like, rangers melee... Mage um, and summoners when you go into the uh, hard mode of this mod, so all of that will help. Because I want to try and uh, play them all basically, just for fun. Just for fun. Oh, a coin portal. <laughs> Five gold, not bad. All right, this one's gonna burn, isn't it? So let's get on here and get off. Oh, Murdoch the sorcerer has arrived. Oh my god, we got some cool stuff back at home now. Wow, here's me talking about all these different classes and stuff when we get a knight in a sorcerer at house. Right, I think I'm going to head back now, but it's a shame we didn't get more demon blood, so let's go back. I've got a recall potion here. Okay, so let's go check out these new NPCs. We're going to check them out one by one. So we have the chef over here, seen him. Okay, let's go with the knight because he came first. I was in a strange castle one day. There were mechanical things saying, exterminate. Were they your minions? Ah, so he's in a castle with the Daleks, eh? So he sells a throwing axe, which does throwing damage. So is that like a... Give it a quick throw, I like it. A rusty sword. A ripper knife. Tomb Raider. So this is a... Uh, wow, it looks cool. Boom, boom. I'm going to sell that back to him just because I don't really want it. Spiky shield allows you to prick foes. Kind of cool. Twilight horns. You gain more power during night. That is a nice item. Toxic Razor Knife. 31 melee damage. Oh man, there's so much stuff I just want to sell just to try these out. Necromancer Claymore. So I imagine that's a sword that fires projectiles. A shovel! Like Shovel Knight! Yeah, I get it. I get the reference. And a nasty Tomb Raider. That's weird, that, because um, it's not like a Tomb Raider. It's got. It's already got a prefix on it. <laughs> Has any of the else got these? Have I not noticed them? No, this this one. Oh, I want to get the shovel, but I also want to see what the sorcerer sells. I'm going to sell more stuff. I'm going to get more money for stuff like this. I think we can farm a few boss fights for that. Okay, Murdochs. Sorry, I don't do pies. You'll never find me trapped underground. Ah, reference to the wizard. I like it. Sorcery is all about control. It's different from magic in that it requires symbols and fetishes. Alright, so you've got the burning, the burning tomb. Uh, this is like a weapon, like a, one of the book ones. A razor leaf tomb. That's cool. A bunny. Okay. I don't know why he sells them. And oh, bunny out the hat like a like a like a magician maybe. Uh, enchanted shield increases maximum mana. Uh, decreases damage. Interesting, interesting one there. It's just like the enchanted sword. I like that. Starfall tomb. Uh, magic damage is another spell tomb. Golden hat. Increased magical damage. Increased critical strike chance. Golden robes. Lightning Tomb, 
Bloodstone. You are you are glowing during night. I like that. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna buy which one looks the best. Oh, we don't we actually can't afford it, so I'm gonna sell the caro and all this crap. Can we buy it now? There we go. Alright, let's try let's try this one. So let's swap over to the golden robes. Let's take off the uh, the pants. So what's this one going to be like? Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Mystic Scar Skyfall. I should have really thought about that. That was kind of... I don't know how I feel about it. That's kind of crap. <laughs> it's not crap, but you know what I mean. Ah, great. Here you go, buddy. You can have them back. <laughs> we'll have a third of the profits back. Nice. Say what, do these sell for a good amount? Oh wow, they actually do. There's a good exploit. Should we do that? Should we um should we uh, try that out? Let's go get some more uh let's well we've got some gel. And we've got some wood. So let's go to the is it do you craft them at the living loom? Where are they? Slime staff. Alright, here we go. This is a good little exploit. We used a lot of um did we use all our gel for that? Yeah, we used all of our gel, so we'll have to get some more gel for that one. Obviously, I'm sure we can set up a gel farm. All right, okay, shop. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, okay, we've got 12 gold now. All right, let's see. What did we know? It wasn't from you. We want to buy something from the knight, right? The knight's over here with the engineer. It looks like they've just had an argument, doesn't it? Come back to me! Let's talk about potions. All right, okay, I want to get the shovel. Do 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 I'm actually playing through Shovel Knight in my Wii U at the minute, so this is actually really nice. That is a really strong, when you think about it, that is a really strong thing. How, how much damage did it do? 28 to that bunny. Nice, that is a really strong sword. You cannot complain about that. Let me just check one more thing if he's selling it. It looked cool. That looked cool. I wanted that. So maybe we should get some gel and um, make some. We do have an engineer, so if we found a slime statue, we could make a lot of money. Couldn't we? Maybe we'll find one. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching and thank you for being patient while these episodes come out. I'm having a few computer troubles, as I may have mentioned. Um, so yeah, so I'm just having a few computer troubles when it's done, which will be in like a week or so. You'll have lots of daily uploads again, like two or three again. So yeah, so thank you for being patient. Thank you for watching the episode and have a great day, everyone. And you'll see me very soon. Thank you all for watching. My name is James. Peace. Oh, I never checked what the blood vial does, and I swear to God, the amount of comments I had got. Shangara. Sh Sharanga? Sharanga. It's like the Shangara from, um, from the, uh, the thingy one. From the console. Infinality uh, is a sword. Devil Forge. So you have to get five of that to actually even make it. And then the Burning Fist. That's like a magic weapon. Very cool. Alright, let's go to do it. Thank you for watching. My name is James. Peace. Good morning.